Hey everybody, I'm Matt Thomas. And I'm Elvira Kurt. And we're going to be giving you a sneak peek at what to expect from the Toronto International Film Festival when it comes to queer titles this year. It's going to be a lot of fun. Really? Yes, Matt, come on, we're going to be a great team. You've got all that background in film and you've done all your research and I have, I have really nice ties you can borrow. You just don't embarrass yourself. Oh, too late. Nice tie though. Thanks. about some of the queer films uh, in the festival that stick out for you this year? It's an interesting year, Matt. I think that we're seeing a greater diversity of sort of queer themed films um, than, than perhaps before. From a queer perspective, what's great about Xavier's movie is that it sort of feels as though it has completed this transition from the sort of angst-ridden coming out tale to actually uh, making sexuality sort of a side issue to what are sort of the larger issues maybe fa facing a queer teenager. I also like the fact that, you know, basically uh, the, the gay stereotype, you know, is that, you know, mothers, mothers and their sons are like bonded at the hip, right? You know, our mothers made us gay, you know, was the 1950s cliche. Well, this, of course, turns it on its head. He's sort of saying, like, you know, that queer narrative is over. Here's a new one. I can definitely say that as a fan of Lucy Laws, I'm very much looking forward to Bitch Slap. <laughs> Gay men are attracted to fierce dumb fatales because we want to be them. I'm Trixie. Trixie. Your little slice of heaven. There's not really a huge mystery here. Um, uh, there's a certain kind of fighting spirit, you know, that uh, you know the downtrodden gender is able to actually like like pick it up and kick some ass. When you see anyone essentially leaving their normal comfort zone and trying something that's um, a little bit gender outlawy. Uh, it gives you a huge thrill, and it actually makes you sort of valid, like that, that the queer project is somehow validated. What up, bitches? Kinky likes you. Kinky want to play. What does she want to play? Giddy up! You are my horse! Well, Single Man, I mean, if you're going to pick one movie to be the gay gala, I think it would probably be this. You know, Tom Ford is this icon and certainly object of desire for so many gay men. So this film sort of goes back to an age where sort of being in the closet had its issues. What's curious about the movie is that it's at the same time, it's actually really contemporary. It's about losing a loved one and being unable to grieve for them. And I think the center of the debate about gay marriage in the United States right now is precisely that. Am I not going to be able to be present when my partner dies? For any of your viewers who don't know Joao Pedro Rodriguez, he is this real iconoclast around queer cinema. I mean, he pisses off gay people as much as he pisses off straight people. He's always doing things that sort of are confusing in the context of queer cinema. Oh, Jenny, põe a peruca. Não tira a peruca. Quem criou este espetáculo fui eu. Por isso tira a peruca. This movie basically is talking about a, a transgender uh, woman, a drag performer who gradually loses her ability to be a woman. The implants start to fail, the face starts to sag, the hair stops working as her body starts to prepare for death. So it's asking this, these really unusual questions about like, you know, how these changed bodies that are so empowering to us as a queer community um, actually are undermined by nature itself sometimes. <laughs> The film that might be the most talked about, the film called Google Baby, shows how far gay men will go to uh, start a family. There's this uh, gay Israeli entrepreneur who finds a way to take sperm from Israel, match it with eggs from the U.S., and take the embryos to India to implant them in surrogate mothers there uh, to have the babies uh, brought back to Israel. It's truly a brave new world of family making. Wow. And as you're watching the, the film, do you 
were you were you sitting there thinking, well, this is the point at which this group is going to hate this? Is that <laughs> well, you know, I mean, the the opening scene is of this Indian doctor performing a cesarean section while she's on a cell phone. So there, there are a lot of people who <laughs> don't come off well in this picture. So for the gays that will come to see this film, bring your petitions. <laughs> bring your yes? petitions. Okay, bring your babies. <laughs> The Island by Trevor Anderson mm -hmm. is a mix between a kind of a personal commentary and a very colorful animation. And basically a homophobic uh, guy wrote him a piece of what he calls fan mail, um, <laughs> you know, saying that all gays should go to an island. So Trevor, in response, said, well, you know, in, in, within the film, says, you know what, like, let's explore this idea. Unprotected humping all day long? Uh, yes, please. It's very short, it's like five minutes long, but it kind of says it all about, about, you know, in a humorous way about sort of the homophobia within our world and really like, do we really all have to go to an island? Do we? It doesn't, tell me it doesn't end like the Lord of the Gay Flies. <laughs> I can't tell, okay. I can't all tell. Right, all right. something you have to You know, people have out. to go see. Treated like celebrities instead of sickos, given the coolest tree huts and the strongest ape masseurs.